A massive storm will be striking the North Atlantic, creating abnormally warm temperatures on Thursday. Temperatures near the North Pole are predicted to be 50 to 60 degrees warmer than normal, which is near the melting point. Now with frequent warmer temperatures, lower sea levels and more open water, scientists are extremely concerned. Meteorologist Jeff Berardelli has been tracking the storm from our affiliate WPEC in West Palm Beach, Florida. So Jeff, explain to our viewers, why is this storm so alarming? Well, first of all, Elaine, take a look at the storm. I mean, it looks like a hurricane. Now, we do occasionally see storms this strong in the North Atlantic, but they're unusual. Uh, as of yesterday, the uh, storm had winds of 90 miles an hour, waves of 45 feet, and it looked like a hurricane from space. You can see the satellite review over the past 36 hours pushing all that warmth and moisture all the way deep. Uh, into the Arctic. Scientists are concerned because this is the third time in about three months that we've seen what would be an extremely rare, extremely unusual and remarkable event, and we're seeing it yet again. That area of low pressure pushing all that warm air to the North Pole as we head into Wednesday and Thursday. We could briefly see the temperature get to around 32 degrees, and that is the melting point. Well, so the question some people are going to have is how much is due to natural climate and how much is due to climate change? Do we know? Can we tell? You know, it's a really good question. We definitely think that climate change has a hand in this. It's not everything. It's probably a bit of both, and scientists are really kind of racking their brains and putting a lot of effort into research on this. But take a look at this graphic. Since 1900, the Arctic has warmed up 4.5 degrees, the rest of the globe around 1.8 degrees. So a lot of the heating is taking place in the Arctic. But our computer models predicted this 20 or 30 years ago. We knew that it would probably warm quicker in the Arctic, and if it did, it was a sign that climate change is in fact happening, and it is happening. Take a look at this. I'll step out of the picture for you. That's a look at sea ice back in uh, 1980. Now compare it to 2017. Now this may be a warmer year. This may be an off year and the sea ice may grow again more so as we head into uh, next year. However, you can see that there's been a dramatic uh, decrease in the amount of ice. And so what's causing that? Well, it's a good question. We think that it's just melting ice. You have very little sea ice causing uh, warmer water and that warmer water melting that sea ice. So it's kind of a positive uh, feedback loop. This is the theory on what's happening with these systems uh, for the past couple of months. Warm water gathered to the east of Greenland, causing a bubble of warm air in the atmosphere. Uh, we call it a ridge of high pressure, kind of pushing the jet stream north. What's happening is the jet stream is forced into the Arctic, into the North Pole, and it's bringing all all that warm air with it. All right, meteorologist Jeff Berardelli, thank you so much, Jeff.